I have never once taken a kid to my bed. They have come to my bed, and I am no one to kick them out. If they hug me and I find them playing <laughs> good on you, I play with theirs. And I'll do it now and with great pleasure. When you grow up with a culture that does not condone this, that totally no breaks culture it, condones it, surely it, it must hurt you when you get subjected to a grown-up uh, forcing sexuality on you. Boy, what a brainwashed person you are. With three or four hundred boys who had sex with me from eight and ten and twelve, one hundred percent have run into my bed, jumped in without my mentioning it, and asked for sex. I have never asked for it. I've never, and most of my friends, don't you realize that I was jumping in people's beds hoping they would take me? All boys want a lover. My you, God. You as a kid. Didn't and every, the, the idea that these men go after, you don't have any point in the world. Now, come on. That's the rule of the game. I find it hard to believe that an observing eye like Carlton Gaidushex could be blind to the damage he might do to kids by having sex with them. How could a mind, so brilliant in so many ways, convince itself that children's need of adult contact and love is a desire for sex with adults? How were you as a kid? The same way. The first time I've told everybody, it's in my journal ten times. My uncle took me, I was exactly six, it was, I know exactly, it was a few days before my seventh birthday, for a few weeks, in Slovakia, my father's birth house. Well, in fact, I feel like a fool acting for your camera and your your uh, thing. I feel not only, I feel despicable and unclean. I never in my life intended to ever do such a fool thing as acting in my own biography. I think it's despicable and unclean. I don't, I would ridicule any human who is so dumb to take a role in his biography, to act his own role for his famous person. I've never seen anything more despicable. It's like betrayal, like Judas was, a, was an angel compared to it. So what you're asking me to do is much more despicable than fucking, there is what I consider a normal family. He pushes and pushes to help mother, please. And when that happens, you have endearing families for life. If you want, tender care from your children. If you want them to wipe your ass when you're 90 and you're demented. If you want them to stick around when you're sick instead of putting you in an old age, almost everybody here does and never visits them. If you want the family to stick together, you have to have intergenerational sex. Intergenerational. But, and but it has to be this, within this the This is where we don't think the same, Carlton. I mean, I don't believe this. Well, I think it's sad. I think the whole problem of the whole world is the lack of it. And I consider it a defective upbringing if you haven't had helped your parents have fun in sex. Gajdusek would continue to bring up the subjects of pedophilia and sex until the completion of this film, as if obsessed by the need to convince the world, and perhaps himself. <laughs> 